in the past two years, I would say, we've seen a, an incredible amount of approvals in liver cancer, right? In frontline, initially we had just serafinib, then Lenvantin was approved frontline, and then in late May, Tezobev was approved frontline. And in second line, we've had approvals of regorafenib and from a phase three study, cabazantinib is approved in second line based on phase three data, both those studies versus placebo. We have phase three data with ramucirumab, the VEGF receptor monoclonal antibody uh, for patients who have an elevated AFP, and that study was versus placebo. So three approved agents in second line after prior seraph speaking. Uh, in the second line setting. And then based on accelerated approval, we have pembrolizumab and nivolumab, both approved second line. And recently we saw nivolumab and ipilimumab approved second line based on accelerated approval mechanisms. So that's an incredible amount of new uh, options for us to use for our patients. And honestly, I think that will eventually lead to improved survival, even beyond what we're seeing uh, in recent data sets. But with all that data in the past, there's also a huge amount of data coming up in the future. So at ASCO, we saw some very interesting updated data on the combination of CTLA-4 and PDL one inhibition with tremilumumab and dervalumab. Uh, Rich, can you walk us through that data set presented by Katie Kelly? Sure, sure. So as you mentioned, this was a trial. Um, it, it actually had a forearm. One is a combination of, of using two different doses of Derva and Tremi, uh, one using high dose of CTLA4, uh, and the other two arm of a single agent uh, of activity of Tremi alone and Derva alone. And the winner in this uh, sort of the pick the winner kind of a trial was a high dose of Tremi with standard dose of Derva was the winner with response rate up to 20 uh, up to 28 percent. So it's interesting that you know the problem with the combining PDL1 and PDL1 with CTLA4 is the toxicity. We know that you know as a single agent PD1 PDL1 the response rate seems to be hovering maybe around 15 20 percent. And when you add it another IO such as a CTLA-4, we think the efficacy seems to be a little bit better, but at what cost? And that was a concern, especially if you use a high dose of CTLA-4. So this trial showed that the winner was a high dose of CTLA-4 with Tremi. But this was the exact response that we saw when you combine IPI and nivolumab in, in a sort of checkmate study. In a similar study, they also used a different dose and scheduling of the combination. And the winner of that study, in that study, at least the response rate seems to be very similar to all three arms. But the one that had the longest OS benefit was the combination of high dose IPI with standard dose of NEVO was the winner. So for whatever it's worth, now there are two studies telling us that if you combine IOs to IO, including PDL1, PD1 plus CTL4, it seems like the higher dose of CTL4 seems to benefit the most when you combine those two, despite so the toxicity, which is a concern. concerned. 